This is Supreet and today I'm going to talk about how do you connect .NET with Graph APIs and for that I would like to uh, show you something. So this is my Graph Explorer uh, URL. Just hit this URL and you will be redirected to this page. Now if you see here there are many options. Uh, so if you say get my profile so it will give you this endpoint. So this is a graph api endpoint to get my own details now what does it take it doesn't take any request body since it's a get request and uh, it doesn't require any header as such uh, but then you require access token so i'm gonna just grab this access token copy this uh, for my purpose and then when i run the query so you will get a response like this all right um so now uh, let's not worry about this response. Let's try to get the response uh, from our .NET end. So now I'm going to flip uh, to Visual Studio. Uh, here is my Visual Studio. And for the interest of the time, I have uh, created the code already. I'm going to walk you through uh, the code. Now, if you see, I have a controller over here. All right. So um, what you're going to do is we need to hit the send point so hence we need um http client so uh, over here in program.cs i have added builder.service.addhttp client now after this uh, i'm gonna switch back to my controller and in my get method so i'm gonna uh, return a simple string uh, that string would be your response okay i'm not gonna convert that into <coughs> A model class and produce it uh, just because it's just a simple demo so i'm gonna return the string whatever i get so i'm gonna create a new instance of http client then add some headers to it uh two most important headers are um, this one uh, the content type as application slash json and the token so i'm gonna pass this token over here uh, now in the real time you're not gonna pass this token this way you're gonna generate the token and uh, you know, uh, add it to your authorization header uh, so this is one more header and i'm gonna add bearer to it and then pass access token so that it, it looks like enough you know, bearer space your access token all right so now uh, i'm gonna hit http uh, client method uh, that is get async method get async method will take uh, request URL so this is my request URL so this is the endpoint or whatever I've shown over here all right so this is my endpoint now I'm gonna uh, return the response and then uh, you know, uh, render it all right so now let me run the solution So this should give me a swagger interface uh, and this will take uh, a moment just bear with me the screen is loading all right now you have a swagger interface now if you hit this get method say try out and execute and let me continue this right so now this is your response so you have my display name given name and all other uh, information I'm, I'm not gonna get into these details but uh, this is how the graph api works right um, so uh, this way you can Hit many other endpoints now if i say get my photo and then run so you're gonna get this response um and then you know, there are many other endpoints where you can of try it uh, so this is how i connect uh, or integrate graph api with my net so any more ideas comments uh, please drop a comment in my comment section thank you